You're watching Less Than Epic's coverage of the Overwatch League. Enjoy the show. Keeping his teammates alive. They're using the cart for cover behind it on both sides of things. Bergering on D76 has worked his way to a tactical buzzer. He is cleaning up. This is it. The big play the turning moment. And they will make the progress necessary. That was Birdring showing us how to get things done on the Soldier. While London did lose that series, later on in the day they pulled off the reverse sweep on New York to win the Grand Finals. This is your host Radical Edward and we're taking a look at the top 5 plays from Stage 1 Week 5. Coming in at number 5 this week, we've got the Dallas Fuel showing us that they are pulling their stuff together at least a little bit. Siegel had this stellar ult with Farah to win them the game. 19 seconds left on the clock. All they need is one tick. A single destroy Shaz. No more heals left here for the Gladiators. They're making progress. It gets contested at the last second. And Hydration is finally back into the fight, but not for long. This is all on the last man here. And wow, while well, Big Goose is out of it, that is it. Jumping over to the Grand Finals match, we've got Sabiobi showing us why he is the best tracer in the league. I seriously wish that I rendered these videos at more than 30 FPS because I don't even think that this can track how fast Sabiobi is in these plays. Look at this. Just trying desperately to keep London's hopes alive. Bedosin rests one more time. He's low, he's down. Sabiobi drops the pump up. There's a kill on the bird ring. There's a kill on the dust. And OT will soon start to tick quickly. There it goes. And New York Excelsior. Jumping back to Friday in the Seoul vs. San Francisco game, we've got Fleta and Bunny going off like crazy to win this match over them. Three kills already for the McCree here. Give him a little bit of space and he does wonders with it. He's like an you know, interior redecorator, except it's more of a macabre kind. Desperately out towards the point where Sleepy on the tracer and Nohumi drops in as well. But again, San Francisco... It was so hard to decide which play deserved the number two or number one slot this week, but I eventually had to go with Pine going off on the Widow for this amazing quad kill side of the London formation, as you're about to see with the Infrasight and nailed the shots. Not many Widowmakers would go for this play. Now, yeah, but Pinewood, and he just absolutely nails it here. Even the Machine Gun, what a flick! Are and you another serious? One. Beautiful. And our number one play of the week, I just had to give to Profit on the Junkrat, killing both supports of the Houston Outlaws in their final match to send his team to the Grand Finals. The truck. Fury has to back away, but he's run into Moomy here. Takes a breather, staying nice and healthy. And Arisa Barry comes up. Remember, two ticks so far for the Outlaws. And Cormac's found Bird Ring early. This Riptide could be the game. It is! Benny's taken down. That's the pick the Spitfire we're looking for. That might have just sealed the deal right here and now. Links are in movement to try to huddle get, to get up a walk. Trying to keep some sort of presence on the point with the whole hog. It's going to make it so hard for them to keep their feet up on the ground. But if Fury drops, that's going to be in. Where are the Outlaws now? The Spitfire take flight. Straight into our grand finals. 14 games, that's how many games London Spitfire played that Saturday. Nobody expected them to pull out what they did because they had lost to both of those teams that week. But London, showing that they are one of the most versatile teams in the league, pulled out the grand finals win in stage one. That is my team, the boys in baby blue. I am so stoked for you guys. Congratulations. And with that, we conclude stage one of the Overwatch League. I am stoked to be doing this series, to be participating, and especially to be watching these absolutely amazing professionals do what they do on stage. I hope you've enjoyed the journey with us. We've definitely been enjoying doing our little series on the Overwatch League, and we definitely plan to continue all of our series into Stage 2. So thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed this, hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel, and it lets me know that you enjoy the content that we're producing. We will have Overwatch content between stages, so definitely stick around. But for now, thanks for watching, and this is Radical Edwards signing out. Yeah.